this. If I lose here, it will all have been for nothing. I have but one wish in this world, and it is denied to me. Give up. You fought and lost. We're done here. You don't have to keep doing this, Karin. Yes, I do. I can still... <coughs> Karin! About time he shows up. Out of my way, Fabuki! Please! It's time to stop this. I never knew how much pain you bottled up inside. Damn you. Listen to me. Please, Karin. You've suffered long enough. I beg of you. Put this burden down. Alice would never want you to torture yourself like this. Shut up! But you have to find a way to live within it. This world without Alice. You just have to accept it. You must. We both do. Live on. Live for her. Please, we need your help. I'll ask you once again. Come to the Kronos Terminal with us and unravel the entanglement. I know the pain of never being able to see a loved one again, so I won't ask you to accept it willingly. But I can't let you have your way. I don't want to destroy the future of this world. You went back to the past repeatedly, since no matter how hard you tried, you didn't get the result you wanted. Think of the people who care about you. End this for their sake. Join us. Help us protect our future. Help us build a better tomorrow. So this is what they mean by... the end. Then... that leaves me with only one choice. So you'll do it? I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> However, are you sure you only want to close the Kunan Gate? You should have already realized its potential, Fubuki. You mean Kaito Sumeragi's plan to have the Kunan Gate consume the extinction belt? Oh, I see. We close the Kunan Gate, and at the same time take care of our other problem. But the plan my brother spoke of isn't feasible. I can't move the extinction belt with just my power. You mean our gravikinesis? He's right. Even with our combined efforts, we're not strong enough to do that. Use our Habaki. If it's a biocomputer, then it might be possible to raise the cap of your powers by connecting your brains through the SAS. It is possible. Ara Habaki has spent centuries running simulations. There shouldn't be a problem. You wanted to eradicate the extinction belt that turned Alice into an other as well. 
Will Yuito and Kasane's brains be able to withstand the extra output from Arahabaki? It's too dangerous. If there's even the slightest chance we can do it, we have to try. If it's theoretically possible, it's worth testing. Then let's get ready. We'll need to pull some strings in order to use Arahabaki. I'll look after Karin. We should head to the Kunad Gate. Does that make Karin my ancestor? I'll be right there. Hmm. Okay. Well, this was a uh, definitely definitely an adventure. You're copying our powers, but only because we're letting you. Don't make me regret this, Karin. Don't worry. I'll close the Kunad gate. <laughs> Arahabaki is ready. Karin should be ready too. We're gonna connect through the SAS to help you while operating the link with Arahabaki. Kasane, Yuito, we got this. We'll be supporting the two of you through the SAS as well. Let's all make this a success. This is going to tax all of you, but we need your help. I just know everything is going to work out. We can do it. We've been able to come this far because we've worked together. I've finished connecting Arahabaki. All right, let's start. Opening SAS connection to Arahabaki. Just focus on the extinction belt. Give it your all. I'll take care of controlling our Habaki. We've been connected to it for 2,000 years now. All right, then. Do it! Karin! We trust you. If you want to save this world, then show me the strength of your resolve! Jesus. Kasane! Yuito! Belt's no longer a threat. From here, we can go directly to the Kronos terminal. Right. 
Keep your focus on the red strings. Now. Finally. The last one. <laughs> years I'll go to the past and find a timeline where Alice lives no you can't hold on I told you to show me the strength of your resolve this time I won't claim Yakumo's life the final entanglement will be eliminated Karin but that you're going to sacrifice your own life. This is it. One last jump through time. No, don't do this! Corin! Corin, I... Where did he... What just happened? Look! The Kunad Gate! <gasps> Beautiful. Does that mean... We... Hold it off? The Kunad Gate no longer seems to exist. Karin. Yeah. That flood of red we saw everywhere. That was the red strings, wasn't it? Which means. Mm. By traveling into the past, I wonder if we changed the world for the better. More than just the Kunad gate closing, you mean? Oh! Sorry about zoning out there, guys. Not used to the sky being pretty. Good to go, Haruka? I've been good to go for a while. Hurry up, Wataru. We saved the world, didn't we? We didn't just prevent the future apocalypse. We eliminated the extinction belt, too. Thanks to Karin, we won. Yeah. He made a new future. All of us did. It's beautiful. I wish you could see it.
Damn. Not what I expected at all. He was uh, basically a villain the entire entire game. And then at the end, he's just like, mm, you know what? I'm going to be a good guy. Okay, well, let's go ahead and skip that. So, more than likely... Oh, there's more. Okay, so this is what we could find out. We'll need to do a more thorough investigation, but most of it coincides with the history we know. But there's... Major General Fabuki, we've received several reports from all areas that the extinction belt has dissipated. And the Kunan Gate suddenly disappeared. What in the world happened here? I'll send a detailed report later. First, we need to contact the New Himuka government. Fubuki! You're here too? Oh shit. Alice? What? Why are you so startled? Oh, you're with them too, Hanabi? What? Alice. It's you. Wait. If you're here, then what about... Then... What about Karin? Karin? I don't know him. Do I? Oh. Okay. That's, uh, interesting. Alice never turned into another, looks like. I was thinking of going to Kunat Highway tomorrow since it's ready. I'd be happy if you'd all join me. Sorry, am I late? Major General Fubuki isn't here yet. Well, let's hang out until everyone gets here. The weather's nice enough. Okay, so what I was gonna say before I got, you know, that cutscene, more than likely this uh this episode's gonna be cut into two. I didn't expect there to be like a fucking hour worth of uh worth of cutscenes, so if uh, one episode just abruptly ends, you know why. These cherry blossoms are as... Even though history changed, I'd be lying. Anyway. I'm fine. You're always worth... You're still the same. What? <laughs> I'm grateful to... Also... So... I see. You could call it a family. Family? <laughs> it, it really does, though. Like this, this just feels like they're like we're we're trying our hardest to make this game like. I don't know. I just feel like the ending is just dragging along. Like they're making me go through and talk to all of these people. Come on, and every single one's probably going to be. So we Yeah, every single one's gonna have a cutscene. I'm not I'm not gonna watch all that. Can't talk to Luca, it looks like. It looks like the cr my oldest I'm in a pretty bad spot. Yeah, no. We're we're skipping. Because I'm already, I'm already short on time for this being two episodes. I'm not turning it into three. Is 
seems like you can only talk to two of them. Oh. Aunt Alice is really. Oh, my food tastes better when you eat. Oh, I heard you put in your resignation. Yeah. Once everything calms down and the OSF is. So it's really. Tr well, I'm sure that. Do your best in your new life. I'll do my best in the OSF. I guess. <laughs> I, I mean, I feel sick. <laughs> I'm not good enough to say that you. But I'm confident. I know. Thanks. Yeah. I can't say yet. But be ready. Once I become the person I want to be. What do you mean, be ready? Hello, you. The history we know. I'm gonna. I'll need your help too. Even if you. In this is. He's a known vet. However, his. Yeah. No. I. I. I'm sorry. It just. It. It. It's time. It's just time. Major. Jo By the way. No, I'm good. No. I'm. Sorry for keeping everyone waiting. When's the last time everyone got together like this? I'm glad to see nobody's changed. It hasn't been that long. I've been so busy I actually lost track of time. Man, I need a break. That makes sense since you've had to deal with the media every day. Seriously, good work. It appears there hasn't been much change with the others in this area. While new others haven't appeared since the extinction belt dissipated, it's not like the ones already here just suddenly went away. Yeah, looks like I won't be retiring anytime soon. That's right. We need to keep protecting everyone. I heard they're going to change the other reports to a system that tracks them on the surface. It looks like things are going to start changing around here, little by little. All right. Let's do what we came here to do. That should do it. I want to thank everyone for coming today to honor him. So we're the only ones who remember Karin. The world changed, but we weren't affected by it. Erasing his own existence like that? I never would have thought he had it in him. Maybe it was the price to change the world the way he desired. Although I'm sure he doesn't look at it as paying a price. Why do you have to go off and make me an only child? He will exist as long as we remember him. We know that he was here in this world. Yes. Well, are you guys ready to head home? I wouldn't mind taking out a few others around here on our way out. Ugh, such the diligent soldier. Who in their right mind asks to do more work? Yuito. How are your powers? There haven't been any big changes so far. I'll stay in the OSF a little while longer, then retire once everything calms down a bit. And after that? Well, I've got a lot on my mind in terms of what I want to do. It might sound conceited, but I want to change the world so duds like me have a place in it. I'd also like to face what my father and brother have done. I'm a member of the Sumeragi family, after all. And there's the other particles as well. Other particles? The extinction belt is gone. Yeah, but it's originally from space, right? It could appear again someday, since we didn't get it at the source. That's why I think we should study the other particles more closely, so we can eventually prevent, or even cure, metamorphosis. I had no idea you had so much on your mind. Does that mean you're going to get involved in politics? Sounds that way, huh? Although, I'm not really cut out to be a politician. Really? From what I've seen of you lately, I bet you'd be good at it. 
What, really? I don't know if it'll suit me, but I'm thinking about going to college. I want to study politics, and not because of who my dad was. I want to change New Himuka. You've made your decision too, haven't you? Yes. I've decided to go. There. To the moon. We'll be pretty far away from each other. But at least... I can always look up at night. Every one of us is born alone. But even though we're alone, we can connect with each other. Where we are doesn't really matter. Kasane, I... I'll keep living, no matter what. Look at that, there is a thread between the two. Okay, to the unknown future, reach the first playthrough ending. Yeah, that's all we're doing. We're not doing another. We're not doing another playthrough. But what I will say is that I was going to go through and make a, a detailed review, but with how fucking long this became this episode um i don't really see the point of doing it i mean i'll, I'll do a brief a brief oh gee is this is this more more cutscene or is this me menu please please tell me it's just me menu This looks like his main menu. Okay. So I'll do a brief like summary on on, on my review for the game. Um <clears throat> so all in all, I had fun with it. I I did. Um I just feel like the ending there they were really like drawing it out. Like it it just it it felt like like for instance, going going through the memories, it was like, okay, like we were just constantly fighting. Like it was, it was like, and I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem with it, but it just felt like it was like, okay, you enter this room, fight. Oh, you go through this hallway, you enter this room, fight. Hallway, fight, and it was just like it was, it was very repetitive at the end, and it just felt like they were just trying to draw draw the ending out like they 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 didn't want it to end so they were finding ways to keep it going and i mean like don't get me wrong like it's 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 a good game i i had like i said i had a blast um now oh if i had to give like an overall rating i would give it like an eight um i give combat due to its uniqueness um and like being able to like switch powers and shit on the fly like that um, I, I'll give that a 10. Um, now, enemy variety, I'll give that like an, uh, a low, a low 9, high 8. Um, I just like that each, en I mean, like, like, it was always like, uh, different, different enemies, it felt like. I mean, there, there was this, like, like the same enemies, but then there would be like different variants, and then those different variants would have different mechanics to beat them. So I will say that I, I loved the, the enemy variety. Like it, it wasn't like, oh man, what's another JRPG I played? Like uh, Valkyrie Elysium. Valkyrie Elysium's enemy variety was shit. It was like, oh, hey, here's this monster. And all we did was just change the color of it. Like, okay, that, yeah, that's junk. Um, gameplay mechanics was fucking phenomenal. I mean, I just, just 10. I gave, I, I'll give that another 10. But what 
killed this game for me absolutely killed it is the fucking dialogue like when fucking Yuito went into went into uh, Musubi's with Kagiro and Kagiro or uh, Yuito was like did like what really happened with my father and then Kagiro was like yeah so anyway about that like or like uh, I'm, I'm gonna ignore that and it's like what what kind of fucking writing is this like okay like story was good like it didn't at, when you first started it made no fucking sense like no sense whatsoever but then as you go along things start to click and obviously it probably goes more into when you go and and like you probably understand it more as you go into Cassini's playthrough. You you probably learn more that we still haven't even learned yet. Um, soundtrack, I'd give an eight. I, I did like the soundtrack. It's not it wasn't the greatest, but wasn't the worst. Um, and then the other complaint I had, and I give it a seven on this so dialogue, and then the maps being too linear. Like, don't get me wrong, I like I like. You know dungeon crawlers and stuff like that but i don't know i just felt like it was it was too linear and it, it just kind of threw threw off the vibe for the game for me but all in all i mean like i said eight out of ten um but anyway i'm gonna wrap this series on up and like i said don't be surprised if this isn't cut into two parts um so you might get an episode where i don't have my intro but anyway Thanks for tuning on in, guys. I will catch you all in the next series.